Yeah, so I was thinking today, somehow this, this expression came up for me, all is lost. <laughs> all is lost. You know that feeling? All is lost, right? That Just that expression of despair. What, whatever has happened, something has happened. You, you know, you had some financial disaster or some some disaster in your personal life or some some disaster with your health or something and the feeling is all is lost right that's it all over all she wrote it's all there is there ain't no more thing things are irreparably not okay things will never be okay again Right. I don't know if you've all had times in your life when you felt that. I, I know I have. Um, I think it's a very human thing. And what I realized today is that w- what happens in our, as we continue to, to, to do our Dharma practice, as we continue to to meditate and to integrate this beingness into uh, the other the hours of activity is that that feeling of all is lost um, doesn't arise anymore. Mm-hmm. In fact, what happens is it becomes kind of inconceivable. Mm-hmm of how, how could I feel that way? How could I feel that way? Because in the past when we felt, oh, all is lost, you know, because this thing changed in our finances or our health or our personal life or, or whatever it was, it means that our sense of the okayness of life was conditional. It was conditioned on the finances or the relationship or whatever being a certain way. And of course, anything external being a certain way is not guaranteed forever. In fact, it's guaranteed that it's not going to be forever. That's, that's, you know, the, uh, the, the, one of the pillars of the teaching that the Buddha stresses impermanence. Everything, everything out here is impermanent, impermanent. So if your sense of okayness is invested, if you've made it dependent upon your family life being like this or your, 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 your country, the politics of your country, hello, being a certain way, and then that gets pulled out from under you, then you're, you're prone to have that feeling of, ugh, all is lost. I think a lot of people have that these right. days here in the in the late fall of of 2024 uh in 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 terms of the political situation but more and more as we because that's other people that's what the buddha called ordinary people <laughs> always seemed kind of a condescending term right <laughs> ordinary people uh but that's not we're not ordinary people we're we're dharma practitioners we're settling in our meditation every day into that infinite okayness of, of just being, which is not dependent on any of the stuff out here. And more and more finding that fullness, that fullness of okayness, the recognition of it sticking with us as we come back out into activity. So the so the stuff out there can still be the same. The politics is still the same. The 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 health challenge or the financial challenge, whatever it is, still the same. We still have to deal with it. And it's not that we become just, you know, apathetic or complacent. We in fact we become more skillful at de- dealing with it because our minds are clear because we because we're not overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Right? We're not overwhelmed. Being overwhelmed is not helpful for for solving problems. So we, it's easier for us to see solutions to the family problem or, or the whatever it is. Uh, but whether we find solutions to it or not, still there's this abiding okayness 
that gets clearer and clearer as, as we go along in our practice. So mm-hmm. that that feeling of all is lost, it just, like there's no room for that to, to exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could even say, we could even say that, that the feeling becomes all is found. <laughs> you know, we, we could put it that way. And it's not that any particular thing is necessarily found. Not that, okay, now we found a better car or now we, we found a better job or, or, or we found a better health regimen or something. Just, you know, not that this or this or this particular thing is found, but somehow a feeling of, of all is found, of somehow the opposite of all is lost. And then from there, from that the platform of that that fullness, then we we deal with stuff as as it needs to be dealt with. Yeah. So so that's the way this was occurring to me. Is this is this way of talking about? It? Is this landing for other people? Is this making sense? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Well, you know, Dean, I'm just thinking, based on what you just said, <clears throat> that that really all all is, mm-hmm. not all is lost or all all is, <clears throat> all is, all is, yeah, yeah, all is, and in the and and the more we get into the fullness of isness, the fullness of being, the clearer it is that it can't it can't it can never be lost. It's actually never found because it actually, your way of talking about it is actually more accurate. It can't be found because it's never lost. But that's that's in the advanced course. That's what we, right. That's that's the kind of language that's in the uh, Prajnaparamita Sutra, right? The Heart Sutra, where they say they take the four noble truths and they contradict them. No suffering. No cessation, no source of suffering, no cessation of suffering, no path to the cessation of suffering, right? When you really get the fullness of, of isness, you see that, that all that whole Four Noble Truths doesn't even make sense anymore. It, it, it's obsoleted itself. Uh, but, um, but that's in the advantage. You kind of see that more from this end. Right when you when you start off at this end, if people tell you, "Oh well, yeah, this whole business of suffering and having a path out of suffering is is not really ultimately the case," that's not helpful. That's not helpful. We 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 have to deal for a while with the apparent, right? Important word: the apparent duality of of suffering and relief from suffering, suffering and happiness, uh, and then. The more we get into happiness, the true happiness, the happiness that has no opposite, the more clearly we get established in that. We, the cl- more clearly we see, oh, that suffering was just kind of like a, it was like a bad dream. It never really had a substance to it. Mm-hmm. 